Well, the day has come to say goodbye to Pilotti. It's over. The new adventure starts now. This morning, I don't know if I was excited, nervous or what, but now I'm buzzing. It just looks so much better now than it did the other day for some reason. I don't know whether they've cleaned it again or what, or whether it was the lights in the showroom, but well happy, can't believe it. What a beauty. Already. Nothing major right enough, but the insurance company that we sent photos to of the camper van, um, they've rejected them, so we've had to send some more photos. So now we're literally parked up around the corner waiting for the insurance to be active before we can move on. And we're five, maybe five and a half hours away from home. Um, it's just gone 11 now, so it's going to be a late one if we don't get this sorted out bit of a bummer but at least it gives us a chance to mess about in the camper van and work out what's what but other than that we are ecstatic love it we weren't hanging around too long after the insurance issue must have been about 10 15 minutes after that and then we were on the road morning so excuse my sweaty mess it's absolutely boiling at the moment and we're just packing up the camper van getting ready to go away for a few days to our favorite place which is just around the corner in uh, Granada camp but rather than I was going to make another video to show the final outcome of the underbuild um, I'm just going to include it in this video so if you've not seen the previous episodes there's only two check back and you'll see what transformation this is. The last time I stood in this room, we didn't have a ceiling at all. We didn't have, uh, we had a wall going across here. Um, the door that you see there is was over there uh, and we had no kitchen whatsoever. So as you can see, we've made quite a big transformation. So this kitchen area, originally, there was an archway here, um, which came out quite far. So getting rid of that is, you know, allowed us to have quite a big kitchen space. There was no window in there whatsoever. Um, so now, quite a nice size. And the breakfast bar makes all the difference. Poppy and I, um, well, Poppy spends quite a bit of time there, and I normally work during the day from there. So I'll quickly show you around. If you remember, door was there. We've now got a nice little porchway. The bathroom, we made slightly bigger by bringing this wall out. Um, not a massive bathroom, but does the job. Nice little shower. And to save space, we've got a nice sliding door. Junior's bedroom, it's all shut off because we're going away. Um, massive bedroom, double bed. That little shelf we put in there. He's got a Hot Wheels wall, which is pretty cool. And that's his gaming area. And um, we've gone for the same tiles all the way through the house. The last bedroom, which you've already seen, is our bedroom, which used to be 
a bathroom. Um, yes, not a massive bedroom, but big enough. Again, we had to put the window in there. So yeah, it's a nice little picture wall. All our family are on there. And that's the old camper van before we got rid of it. So what a difference this is made from when we first moved in. So yeah, that's that part done. So what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna head off to Granada Camp now. Spend a few days there, hopefully nice and windy because the heat at the minute is ridiculous. So we'll see you at Granada Camp. What do you wanna do? You wanna sit in the front? Right, you have to be co pilot, yeah? Take that minute while I get changed. Let's get some aguita and some pastries. Yeah, I might treat myself. <laughs> it's raining, I just saw one drip in the pot. <laughs> Come on then. Don't ask the brain there. Come on. I'll take one of them. One of these. He can, is it? Traditional. Traditional, yeah. Osborne, the whiskey company, that's the sign that they have on their bottles. And they owned all them. Did they? they sold, huh? Did they? Yeah, they owned all them and they sold them. To Spain? Them to, I don't know to who they sold them to, but they, they're from Osborne, the whiskey company. And they put them all over Spain. There's one here, there's one in Benidorm, there's one in... Madrid? Probably. Portugal? I don't know, let's count them anymore. See, I've seen one so far. I've seen two. I've seen two. There's definitely one on the way to Benidorm. So that's two. I've seen three. Where have you seen the third one? On a sticker. Or oh, do you sticker. mean statues? Okay, I'll stop recording now. Or, because it's raining. This could work in our favour, this rain. I'll have you know. Because people may have left Granada Camp and thought, might get off spot. Oh, 
I nearly fell then. Look at this lot. Beautiful. Where is it? In the cupboard. Which one? At the top. Oh, slave. That's what you are, slave. Yeah, it's nice. It's got a nice little beach. All right, we're a bit close to the road, but it's all right, isn't it? June's got the rocks over there, and it's still shallow by the looks of it. video now um, hope you enjoyed watching we didn't film too much because it's not too much to show you at Granada Camp it's just a really nice place to come and chill out for a couple of days um, that's your limit at Granada Camp just the two days we normally do two and then move on to our next destination or home um, if we're just doing a short trip um, so yeah, lovely little place. Um, if you just want to come down in your car, you can go and sit on the beach. Or if you have got a motorhome, um, you can park there. The police don't mind you staying for two nights. Um, we've actually spoken to the local police and that's what they've told us. Um, and yes, they've they've drive past constantly and people have sat with their chairs out and the tables, which is not in the car park, but the other side of the fence so technically you're on the beach um, and nobody seems to have an issue with this so yeah check out Granada Camp absolutely cracking little place to just come out and chill out um, for a couple of nights and enjoy the beach we've got one minute recording left and I just wanted to make a special mention to this little twat wearing my t-shirt that my dad gave me he really thinks he's a hippie now right see you next week I'm staying here bye June, look. Fuck off. No, mate. He's gonna get a biscuit. Yes, mate. Well done.